uh, first of all, uh, I'd like to say that uh, I'm gr grateful to the organizers and especially to uh, Alexei Nikolaevich uh, Kripetians uh, for the opportunity to uh, participate in this conference and uh, in this conference and uh, to give a plenary talk. Uh, the topic of my talk is devoted to uh, inverse uh, spectral problems for differential operators. Uh, such problems uh, consist in the recovery um, of uh, operators uh, from the spectral data. Uh, I will start from some uh, historical background. Uh, the most complete results in the theory of inverse spectral problems uh, have been obtained for the uh, Sturm-Liouville equation 1 uh, with a regular potential Q of class um, L2. Uh, here the function Q is traditionally called um, the potential and uh, uh, lambda is the spectral parameter. So this equation is considered with some boundary conditions uh, and uh, the inverse problem is to recover the potential Q uh, from, for example, the eigenvalues and some additional uh, spectral data. Uh, the basic results uh, on inverse uh, Sturm-Liouville problems uh, can be found um, in the classical uh, monographs by uh, Marchenka uh, and uh, Levitan, and uh, in a more recent book uh, by Freilin and Yulko. Uh, in particular, uh, uh, Sweden mathematician uh, Borg in 1946 has proved th that uh, the potential uh, core uh, of the Sturm-Liouville equation is uniquely specified uh, by the two spectra um, of the boundary value problems uh, for the same equation one with different boundary conditions. So we take uh, the first spectrum for um, equation one with the uh, Dirichlet-Dirichlet boundary conditions and uh, uh, the second spectrum uh, also of equation one with the uh, 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 with the Neumann Dirichlet boundary conditions. Uh, it is well known that uh, uh, these spectra are discrete. Uh, each of them is a countable set of eigenvalues. Uh, so Borg uh, has proved that uh, these two uh, spectra uh, uniquely specify the potential Q. Uh, uh, later on, uh, Constructive methods uh, were developed uh, for solving this inverse problem uh, in the fundamental work uh, by Gelfand and uh, uh, Levitan. Um, the, uh, the transformation operator method was uh, developed. Uh, this method uh, reduces uh, the inverse uh, Sturm Liouville problem uh, to uh, the linear integral equation of form 4. Uh, this equation is considered. Uh, uh, for each fi fixed x, so it's uh, the fret uh, equation of the second uh, uh, kind. Uh, and here I will not uh, elaborate into details of uh, this method. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, the methods uh, of inverse problem solutions are rather technically complicated because uh, inverse problems are nonlinear. Uh, so the reduction to uh, a linear uh, equation is rather difficult. Um, here, uh, Mm, uh, uh, the function f of xt uh, is constructed uh, by the spectral data by some certain formulas. Uh, then we solve this equation and uh, find uh, the function k of xt. This is uh, the kernel of the transformation operator. And then by using uh, k of xt, one can easily find uh, q of x also by a certain formula. Uh, uh, but um, the um, method of uh, Gelfand and uh, Levitan uh, appeared to be ineffective uh, for uh, higher order differential operators of form 5. Uh, if n is greater than 2, uh, then the situation is uh, completely different. Uh, and um, uh, the transformation operator method, uh, uh, method uh, doesn't work. It works only in some uh, specific uh, cases. Uh, but uh, in general, uh, a new method, a method was required to um, construct the inverse problem theory for such operators, and uh, such a method was uh, developed uh, by Yurko. Uh, Yurko relied on some uh, ideas of uh, Leibniz's and developed uh, the method of spectral mappings. Uh, this method is based on the theory of uh, analytic functions and especially on the contour integration. 
uh, in the lambda plane, in the plane of the spectral parameter. Uh, this method uh, also reduces the inverse problem to some uh, linear equation. Uh, this is uh, an equation in the Banach space uh, of bounded uh, infinite uh, sequences. Uh, here, psi and psi this tilde are elements of the space. I is the unit operator, and uh, H with tilde is uh, uh, some uh, uh, compact uh, operator uh, in, in this Banach space. Uh, uh, the functions with uh, uh, tilde uh, psi of x and h of x, x uh, can be uh, constructed by the spectral data, then, uh, and uh, if we know psi, uh, we can uh, find uh, the coefficients uh, pk of the differential expression. Uh, 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 this, uh, is, uh, this method was developed for um, operators with regular coefficients, so when coefficients are uh, integrable functions on the, uh, zero one. Uh, in the last uh, 20 years, uh, inverse problems uh, were intensively studied uh, for uh, uh, the Sturm-Liouville operators uh, with uh, singular potentials, uh, with, uh, when the potential uh, is a distribution of class uh, W2 minus 1. Uh, this is a class of generalized functions, uh, which are um, derivatives, uh, so uh, Q is a, a derivative of uh, sigma, where sigma is um, a function of L2. Uh, how to understand um, this equation? Uh, it can be understood in the following sense. Uh, we can define the quasi derivative uh, by using this function uh, sigma. Uh, and uh, if uh, y and uh, the quasi derivative are absolutely continuous, uh, then uh, it can be shown that this equation is uh, equivalent uh, to the first order system 8. Uh, uh, in, in general, if y is sufficiently smooth, then uh, the left-hand side of the equa uh, equation 7 uh, is correctly defined in the space of generalized functions. But if uh, y is of this class, y and uh, uh, the quasi-derivative are absolutely continuous, uh, uh, then uh, this uh, differential expression uh, uh, becomes uh, a regular function. Uh, and uh, this uh, equation can be understood as the first order system. Uh, this approach was applied uh, by uh, Savchuk and Shkalikov in the paper of 1999. And uh, start, uh, this paper uh, started uh, the research of direct problems and then of uh, inverse problems uh, for um, uh, such uh, operators. Uh, but actually, um, this regularization, the reduction to the first order system, uh, was used early in some earlier papers. Uh, in particular, there is a paper, uh, paper by Pfaff in German language. Mm. And there were also um, some attempts uh, to study a higher order um, uh, 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 operators of a special form, which uh, generalize uh, 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 this uh, second order equation. Uh, uh, what about inverse spectral pro problems? Inverse problems for uh, the Sturm-Liouville operators with distribution potentials were studied uh, by many mathematicians listed here. Uh, in particular, uh, uh, Ukrainian mathematicians uh, Hrynev and Mikituk uh, transferred uh, the gilfant levitan method uh, to this case and obtained a number of uh, classical uh, results. Uh, uh, for the Sturm-Liouville operators with potentials of class W2-1. Uh, uh, what about uh, the method of spectral mappings? Mm, uh, for a long time it was uh, unknown how to apply the method of spectral mappings to such uh, operators. There was a paper by uh, Freilin, Ignatiev and uh, Yurko. Uh, they developed uh, the main equation for some class of uh, Sturm-Liouville problems with singular potentials. Uh, so uh, the equation can be used for constructive solution, but to obtain, uh, uh, for example, the characterization of the spectral data to, stu to study the uh, question of existence of solution, uh, a more uh, a precise, a more uh, accurate version of uh, this method uh, 
is required. And uh, this version was developed in my recent paper uh, 12 and uh, uh, for the scalar case. And uh, then uh, uh, this method was applied uh, to the matrix uh, Sturm-Liouville operators uh, with uh, uh, singular uh, potentials uh, in the next uh, two papers. Uh, and, and now it uh, um, uh, becomes possible to um, uh, study um, inverse problems for higher order differential operators with distribution coefficients. Uh, so, uh, in this talk, uh, 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 this talk is focused uh, on the inverse problems uh, for uh, the higher order differential operators with distribution uh, coefficients uh, generated uh, by the differential expressions of the following forms, uh, 9 and 10. Mm, they are defined uh, slightly differently for uh, even order and for, uh, for even order 2m and for odd order uh, 2m plus 1. Uh, here, uh, uh, tau k and uh, sigma k are the coefficients. Uh, if uh, tau k and sigma k are sufficiently smooth, uh, then uh, we can differentiate and open these brackets and obtain uh, uh, the form 5. So uh, if the coefficients are sufficiently smooth, uh, then uh, uh, these expressions can be reduced uh, to the form 5. Uh, uh, but now we will consider the case uh, uh, when they are um, uh, uh, tau k and sigma k are functions of L2 uh, for the uh, even case and uh, of L1 for the uh, odd case. Uh, I consider, so, uh, and here the derivatives, uh, the derivatives uh, are understood in the sense of distributions. Uh, these forms of uh, I consider these forms of uh, differential expressions uh, following uh, the approach of uh, Merzoev and Shkalikov. Uh, in the first paper of 2016, uh, they obtained uh, the regularization uh, for the uh, even order um, operators with distribution coefficients of the form 9 um, and studied some of the spectral properties. Uh, in the paper uh, uh, 16 in the preprint of uh, 2019. Uh, uh, this approach was uh, developed for the odd order. Uh, but in fact, uh, there was uh, also a preprint uh, by Vladimirov. Uh, in this uh, preprint, Vladimirov uh, obtained a more general construction, uh, which includes uh, the both uh, uh, even order and the odd order cases of Merzoyev and Shkalikov. Uh, 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 actually, Vladimir, Vladimirov uh, did not work with differential uh, expression. Uh, he worked with uh, quadratic forms. So he represents this uh, operator by a quadratic form uh, and uh, uh, obtain uh, regularization. Uh, so, uh, and uh, the results of Vladimirov are more general and it appeared that for the odd order he was the first who obtained uh, this regularization. But of course, uh, these papers uh, uh, don't concern inverse problems. Yeah. Here are just uh, regularization and uh, direct problems, but uh, I uh, will describe uh, the regularization of Merzoyev and Shkalikov because it will be used in my work. Uh, uh, Merzoyev and Shkalikov constructed uh, uh, the uh, 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 matrix F uh, associated with the uh, differential uh, expression. Uh, this matrix is constructed in a different way uh, for um, even order and odd order. This is uh, its form for uh, even order. Uh, here we have uh, uh, once over uh, the main diagonal. Uh, and uh, there are some non-trivial uh, non uh, elements f, k, g, which are defined by the formulas below. Here, phi, g and psi, g are defined by tau and sigma, so these elements are defined by the coefficients of uh, the differential expression. And for the odd order, the form is uh, different. Uh, here, uh, the elements are also constructed by using uh, phi, psi, and tau and sigma. Mm, we see that here mm, uh, the elements of f are, uh, depend linearly 
on uh, tau and uh, tau k and sigma k, uh, but uh, for the uh, for the even case, uh, there is quadratic dependence here. Uh, we have uh, we have this product, uh, and that's why for even order we consider L two and for odd order uh, L one. Uh, uh, then by using the enters of f at, at x, uh, we define uh, the quasi derivatives by formula eleven, and uh, then consider the operator f, which is the nth uh, quasi derivative, uh, with the domain. Uh, the quasi derivatives uh, from zero to n minus one are absolutely continuous, uh, and then for any function y of this domain, uh, the differential expression of y uh, equals to uh, the nth quasi derivative. Uh, uh, this is because the matrix F is constructed in a special way. It's constructed in such a way that uh, this relation holds. Uh, then this uh, generalized function. Ln of y uh, becomes regular and it, it equals to um, the nth quasi derivative. Uh, uh, also, we can, uh, uh, similarly to the second order case, uh, we can write uh, the equivalent uh, first order system uh, for equation 12. Uh, we define by uh, y with vector a column vector of uh, quasi derivatives. Uh, and we, uh, further, I will call y uh, a solution of equation 12 if it is uh, of uh, the defined domain and uh, it satisfies the first order system. Uh, here, f of x uh, is the Merzoyev Shkalikov matrix, and lambda is the con constant matrix which contains the spectral parameter. Uh, uh, at the entry n1, it contains the spectral parameter lambda, and all the other entries are zero. Uh, uh, so one can consider the first order system instead of uh, 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 the differential equation with distribution coefficients. Uh, the first n minus one rows of the system are uh, actually the definitions of the quasi derivatives, and the last row is this equation. Uh, then I will proceed to the problem statement. Uh, for the problem statement, uh, we will need uh, the boundary conditions. They are defined uh, by the linear forms. Uh, here A is uh, 0 or 1, so the boundary conditions are separated. Some of them are at 0 and some of them are at 1, at the point 1. And uh, the orders uh, P, K, A, uh, for each fixed A, uh, form a, permut uh, a permutation uh, of numbers from 0 to n minus 1. Uh, These linear forms uh, can be written in the vector form uh, as a multiplication of some uh, row vector to this vector of uh, quasi derivatives. And we can compose uh, a matrix UA of these row vectors. So this notation also will be used U0 uh, and U1. Uh, uh, then, um, we need to define some solutions, uh, denote by CK the solutions of uh, the differential equation, uh, satisfying the, uh, in, uh, the following initial conditions. Uh, uh, we also can construct uh, the matrix uh, function C of x lambda, whose columns are the columns of uh, quasi derivatives of the corresponding solutions. Uh, obviously, it satisfies uh, the Mm, uh, system 15, uh, and uh, it satisfies uh, the certain uh, initial condition. Uh, so uh, C of x lambda is the solution of the initial value problem, and uh, that's why it's uh, entire in lambda for, for each fixed x. So uh, these solutions are entire in lambda. Uh, in addition, we define uh, solutions of phi k, uh, which are called uh, the while solutions. Mm, they are also the solutions of the same equation, uh, and they satisfy the boundary conditions uh, 16. Uh, for phi k, we take uh, k conditions at the uh, left-hand point and uh, n minus k conditions uh, at the point 1, and also construct uh, such matrix. Uh, 
pi of x lambda. Mm, these two matrices, uh, uh, pi and uh, c, they columns form uh, fundamental systems of solutions for the same system, and so they are related uh, by formula, uh, formula 17, uh, where uh, m of lambda is some matrix of uh, coefficients. Mm, it is called uh, the while matrix, uh, and the while matrix uh, is a natural spectral uh, data uh, for uh, such operator. Uh, it has uh, the structure presented uh, below. Uh, it's the unit uh, lower triangular matrix, and its uh, non-trivial element, elements in the lower part, uh, they can be represented as the ratios of some functions, uh, delta uh, gk, which are the characteristic functions whose zeros coincide with the eigenvalues of uh, the certain boundary value problems. Uh, these functions are entire in lambda, and if we take the ratio of two entire functions, we obtain meromorphic functions. So uh, the entries of m and of phi are meromorphic in lambda. Mm. Also, uh, by using the Hadamard's factorization theorem, uh, we can uh, construct uh, the functions delta gk by the zeros. Uh, the, uh, coefficients uh, c, g, k, they can be determined from the structure of the boundary conditions. So, uh, in fact, if we have uh, the eigenvalues, we can find uh, these uh, functions and then find uh, the elements of the while matrix. Uh, uh, and so here is the problem uh, statement. Uh, den uh, denote by xi the collection of the coefficients uh, tau k and sigma k of the differential expression. Uh, then the first inverse problem is uh, given the while matrix, find uh, these coefficients. And uh, the second problem, uh, given the uh, spectra of the uh, described boundary value problems, uh, uh, find uh, xi. Uh, uh, by the previous arguments, uh, if we have uh, the spectra, we can construct the uh, while matrix. And that's why uh, it's worth considering uh, the first problem. And uh, further, we will focus on the first uh, inverse problem. Mm. And uh, the, second form, uh, the second problem is formulated because it's uh, a generalization of the Borg inverse problem. Uh, the Borg inverse problem for the sturm liouville operator is to construct uh, the potential uh, by uh, two spectra. And here, here we construct the coefficients by uh, several, several uh, spectra uh, of the boundary value problems uh, for the same equation with uh, certain boundary conditions. And uh, in this paper, the um, uniqueness uh, theorem uh, for the Sinroff problem uh, was proved. Uh, we consider uh, alone with Xi, we consider another collection Xi with tilde of, uh, of the same class. Uh, we agree that uh, we suppose that uh, the boundary conditions are the same for these two problems. Here, for simplicity, I don't study the recovering of the boundary conditions. I suppose that they are known a priori. There are some fixed matrices of 0 and 1. Uh, and the quasi derivatives are defined uh, differently because they depend on uh, the Merzoyev Shkalikov matrices, which may be different. Uh, and uh, the uniqueness theorem uh, tells that if uh, the while matrices uh, are equal to each other, then uh, the coefficients are also equal to, uh, the, uh, these collections of coefficients are also equal to each other. So the coefficients are equal uh, absolutely everywhere on 0, 1. Uh, how much time do I have? 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, with questions. Okay, then uh, I think I will not uh, elaborate into details of the proof uh, of this uh, theorem. Uh, uh, I'll say, maybe I'll better say some comments. Uh, there is um, uh, the frequently asked question. Uh, all the specialists, uh, specialists working uh, in this field ask uh, the following question. Uh, 
<clears throat> Actually, all this construction is obtained uh, for the first order system. Uh, can we consider the first order system with uh, some arbitrary matrix f of x uh, and forget about the differential expression? So why do we need to study the differential expression? Maybe all the results are valid for the general first order system. Uh, but uh, it's not so. Uh, there is um, a simple uh, 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 counterexample, um, even for n equals 2. Consider the following uh, matrix, uh, where a and b are uh, some functions. Uh, here I take a and minus a because I need uh, the trace to be zero. Uh, but if uh, let a and b be independent of each other, then uh, the first quasi-derivative uh, will be uh, y prime minus the coefficient uh, uh, minus uh, this coefficient multiplied by y. And here we have minus this coefficient multiplied by the quarter derivative and uh, m minus this coefficient multiplied by y. Uh, then it can be mm, easily shown uh, that uh, we obtain the Sturm-Liouville equation uh, with the potential which is represented by uh, the following formula. Uh, so the potential depends on A and B. Uh, even if uh, we recover, uh, we choose some spectral data which defines uniquely the potential, uh, if we can uniquely recover the potential Q, uh, we cannot uniquely find A and B. So in general, the matrix F uh, is not uniquely specified by uh, the wild matrix and by uh, other spectral characteristics in this uh, problem. And the special structure of this matrix uh, associated with the differential uh, expression is important and it's used uh, uh, in the proof. Uh, this uh, mazoyev skalikov uh, structure is, uh, plays an important role in the proof. And uh, th this is uh, the theory for higher order differential equations, not for the first order systems. Uh, also, some, uh, some other uh, regularizations can be considered, uh, and uh, if it corresponds, uh, roughly speaking, to the higher order differential operator, when at each derivative we have, have it, its own coefficient, uh, then uh, this uh, theory works, but otherwise not. Uh, uh, then, uh, in the next paper, uh, in the preprint, uh, the recovery of the boundary conditions were, was also studied. Uh, with the boundary conditions, the situation depends on the structure because sometimes we have some uh, equivalence classes. Sometimes we can recover uh, all the coefficients. Uh, sometimes we cannot uh, can recover no boundary condition coefficients. So uh, it can be different, and this uh, issue is uh, also studied. Uh, uh, I think uh, better we will consider such example for n equals 2. Uh, what we have for n equals 2? Uh, we have uh, the differential expression with one coefficient uh, uh, tau 1, which is of class L2. Uh, we have uh, uh, the matrix, uh, the regularization matrix of the following structure. And then uh, the quasi derivatives are written. Uh, in the boundary conditions, uh, there are only two possible forms of uh, the boundary conditions, uh, the zero order and uh, the first order. Mm, there can be uh, U1 can be zero order and uh, U2 of uh, the first order or vice versa. Uh, the while matrix uh, has uh, uh, such form, here we have only one uh, non-trivial coefficient, which is the ratio of two uh, characteristic functions uh, of the following boundary value problems. Uh, you see here, you know, this condition is uh, the same, and the condition uh, at one is different, exactly as in the Borg problem. And uh, uh, then uh, uh, there are four uh, different types of the boundary conditions, Dirichlet, Dirichlet, Robin, Robin, uh, Robin, Dirichlet, Dirichlet, Robin, and Robin, Robin. Uh, and uh, the uh, theorem for the higher order operators uh, implies uh, the corollary that the coefficient tau 1 of the differential expression is uniquely specified by either uh, Dirichlet, Dirichlet, and Robin, Dirichlet spectra, or by Dirichlet, Robin, and Robin, Robin spectra. Uh, and the coefficient is H0 um, uh, has to be known uh, a priori. Uh, 
this result was obtained by in the paper by Khrinev and Mikituk for the second order. So the results for higher order are a natural generalization of the results for the second order. Uh, yes, I, I think uh, that here I will finish. Uh, thank you for your attention.